Alright, what's going on guys? This is going to be a quick video showing you the six pages that every Shopify store should have and how you can quickly and easily create them. So the first three are super simple to create and they should be on every store. It's Terms of Service, Privacy Policy, and Return Policy. So I'm going to show you how to create these real quick. So if we head over here to Best Sample Store Ever, and you go to settings and checkout you'll come down to here and scroll down and you can see a refund policy a privacy policy in terms of service and you can literally just generate these so as you can see I generated all three so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna open this up in a new tab real quick and we're just gonna go to pages I'm going to add a page. We're going to call this one Terms of Service. And then all you're going to do is come down here to Terms of Service and copy all of it. And then just paste it in here. And save and you're good to go and then if you go to view you can see you have a professional looking terms of service page right there and you're good to go so that's pretty easy and all you're going to do is duplicate that for these two so I'm gonna go ahead and add these two pages in and I'll be right back Alright guys, so we're back inside of the online store and inside pages and as you can see I went ahead and created the other two pages, the privacy policy and return policy. And just a quick note with the return policy, you may actually want to go in here and edit it yourself if you have your own return policy that you're using. These are just the way to quickly get the pages up and you usually don't have to change the terms of service or privacy policy so you, if you have to change anything it would be the return policy. Now I'm going to show you real quick where you should make these pages available on your store. So you're going to go to navigation and you're not going to want them in the main menu because no one's really going to look at these pages super often but you do want them available to be found so you're going to put them in the footer menu so you're going to go to edit menu and just add three menu items then you're just gonna go ahead and name it those three pages and then you're gonna select right here what page it is so this one is the privacy policy terms of service and return policy and then all you have to do is click save and you're good to go and then if you look at your online store if we take a look at best sample store ever here and you go to the bottom you'll see that these are available as clickable links in your footer menu all right, so just like that, in about five minutes, we've already got three of the six pages done. So let's head back over here and see what the other pages are. So the next one is a frequently asked questions page. So you'd go back to pages and you'd add a page. And with this one, you're usually going to try and fill it with questions that your customers are actually asking. So it may not be completely filled out right away what you're going to want to do is keep track of the emails and messages you're getting from your customers whether it's the store on your Facebook page or anything like that and if you start seeing a lot of questions that are being repeated over and over again you're going to want to put the answers to them into the frequently asked questions page but as for formatting this all you are really going to do is you know insert question here and then in regular text you would insert the answer here and some basic questions that you could put in everyone you can put in like 
Uh, you could put in a short question about your return policy, like do you accept returns, and then write a sentence or two about um, how your return policy works, and you could put in uh, estimated shipping delivery time, um, things like that, just basic questions. You can even just go on Google and type in sample e-commerce frequently asked questions and you'll find lists of questions that are commonly asked on e-commerce stores and you can just throw them in here and then also add the ones that you're getting from your customers so that's four pages already and as for what menu to put this in you can put this in the header menu or the footer menu i've seen it in both because the frequently asked questions page is going to be clicked on more often than the other three pages, so it's reasonable to put it in the header menu. So the next page is a contact, and this one's pretty easy. I'm going to save this real quick. Hit add page, and if you didn't know, a contact page is just as easy as titling it contact or contact us, whatever you want to do. And then go to page template and just change it to page.contact and hit save. And then if you view, you can see that a contact form is already in here. And all of the messages that are sent through here are going to be sent to the main email account of the store. So you'll receive all of them. And you, if you want a customized looking contact form, there's an app in the App Store. Uh, let's see if we can find it real quick, actually. Yeah, it's this one right here, Easy Contact Form. It's free, and you can see right here you can customize this you can put any background image you want so you can make it fit the theme of your store so if you don't want to use the basic Shopify contact form you can use this little convenient app here which is free so that, that's pretty cool if you want to add an extra uh, design thing to your store or whatever I usually use this one to add more theme to the store And like that, we already have five pages done, so the last page is an about page. And this one should be pretty self-explanatory, but, I don't know why I clicked on products there, but this one should be pretty self-explanatory, but a few suggestions that you should try and throw in here is you should try to emotionally connect with your customer here. So what you're trying to do is get into the mind of your prospective buyer because you're trying to create an environment where they feel like they belong and they feel comfortable visiting. You know, you're trying to create an environment where they'd like to be and you don't have to, you know, even if you're not like there's no emotional involvement to the store you're creating, which is often the case. I mean, a lot of the times trending stuff, I mean, you don't, you know, you might not care about it. I know I never really care about what's trending very often. Most often, I'm not interested in this stuff at all, but that doesn't matter. It's, it's not that hard. They get creative here and just try and throw some type of emotional connection into the About Us. You could even uh, pay like $3 on Upwork or something or $5 to have somebody write one if you don't feel comfortable doing it. But you, all you really need to do is throw in a paragraph or two and try to emotionally connect with your customer and create a comfortable, comfortable environment that they feel good about purchasing from and then maybe throw in an image or two to fit your theme and I know that these are pretty much no-brainer pages but still it's a good thing to know going into building a store how to set these up because these are the foundation of every store and you can't build a solid store or you know solid anything without a good foundation so I hope this video was helpful give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel for more content and also there's going to be some pretty cool content coming up soon regarding a new strategy I've been using with Facebook ads and traffic and things like that. So that's probably going to be a longer video too. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.